Did you know that some of the greatest minds in history were nearly lost to time? Their brilliance shaped the world we live in, yet the world tried to forget them. Today, we honor 10 extraordinary individuals whose stories deserve to be remembered and celebrated. Ada Lovelace, the first computer programmer. Long before computers existed, one woman imagined their future. When we hear names like Alan Turing or Charles Babbage, we think of computing pioneers. But behind them stood Ada Lovelace, a visionary who saw something no one else did. In the mid-1800s, she wrote the first algorithm ever intended for a machine. But it wasn't just about numbers. Ada believed machines might one day compose music or even create art. She wasn't just ahead of her time, she was outside of it. In a world where women in science were barely acknowledged, Ada Lovelace's legacy was nearly buried, but not anymore. Nikola Tesla, the unrecognized wizard of electricity. He lit up the world, but died alone and broke. While Edison is remembered as the man who powered the modern age, Tesla's genius laid the foundation. He championed alternating current, AC power, which revolutionized how we transmit electricity. But his bitter rivalry with Edison and his aversion to profit meant the world never gave him proper credit. Today, your lights, your phone, your home, all powered by Tesla's ideas. His name might have been nearly erased, but his legacy powers on. Hatshepsut, the Egyptian pharaoh who blazed trails. She wore the beard of a king and ruled like one. Hatshepsut wasn't just a queen, she was a pharaoh. And in ancient Egypt, that meant she had to look the part, beard and all. She ruled not with war, but with vision. Her reign was marked by peace, trade, and monumental architecture. Her crowning achievement? The breathtaking temple of Deir el-Bari. Yet after her death, her successor tried to erase her. Statues smashed. Inscriptions chiseled away. But you can't silence a legacy forever. Hatshepsut reminds us when women lead, history doesn't always listen, but we can. Ibn Battuta, the great Muslim explorer. He walked twice as far as Marco Polo, but history barely whispered his name. Born in 1304, Ibn Battuta journeyed over 75,000 miles across deserts, oceans, and empires. North Africa, the Middle East, India, China, Southeast Asia. His travelogue, the Rila, gives us a rare, vivid window into 14th century Afro-Eurasia. But in Western history books, He's often a footnote. Because sometimes, the story of exploration gets told through the wrong lens. But Tuta wasn't just a traveler. He was a recorder of cultures, a bridge between civilizations. And it's time the world remembered. Abdus Salam, Muslim scientific genius. He unlocked the universe's secrets, only to be shunned by his homeland. In 1979, Abdus Salam became the first Pakistani to win the Nobel Prize in physics. His theories laid the groundwork for the discovery of the Higgs boson. Yes, that particle, the one that gives mass to everything. But Salam belonged to the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, a minority persecuted in his home country. And so, despite his global acclaim, Pakistan barely speaks his name today. Science doesn't care about borders or beliefs. But sometimes nations do, and genius pays the price. Rosalind Franklin, discoverer of DNA's structure. She photographed the blueprint of life, but others claimed the glory. Rosalind Franklin's X-ray crystallography was key to unlocking the structure of DNA. Her famous Photo 51 revealed the double helix, perhaps biology's greatest revelation. Yet Watson and Crick took the credit and the Nobel Prize. Franklin? Barely mentioned. She died young, never knowing the impact of her work. But today, scientists speak her name with respect, because truth always finds a way to surface. Mary Seacole, forgotten medical pioneer. She nursed the wounded, braved the battlefield, and was written out of history. Mary Seacole, born in Jamaica, used her own money to travel to war-torn Crimea. She built the British Hotel near the front lines, a sanctuary for injured soldiers. While Florence Nightingale became a household name, Seacole was sidelined. Why? Race, class, prejudice. But the soldiers she healed never forgot her, and neither should we. Zenobia, 
the warrior queen of Palmyra. She dared to challenge Rome, and almost won. Zenobia, queen of the Palmyrene Empire, expanded her rule across Egypt and Asia Minor. She was brilliant, multilingual, and unshakably bold. But Rome wasn't having it. When Emperor Aurelian finally captured her, they wrote her off as a rebel, erased her power, buried her legacy. But history isn't written in stone. It's rediscovered in ruins. Zenobia wasn't just a rebel. She was a ruler the world wasn't ready for. Henrietta Lacks, the woman whose cells saved millions. She never knew her cells would change the world. Henrietta Lacks was a mother, a farmer, a fighter. When doctors took her cells without consent, no one told her or her family. Those cells? They became immortal, the first to survive endlessly in lab conditions. HeLa cells helped create the polio vaccine, enabled cancer research, and fueled countless scientific breakthroughs. But for decades, Henrietta's name was missing from the story. Today, we say it with gratitude. Jack Phillips, Hero of the Titanic As the Titanic sank, one man stayed at his post. Jack Phillips, just 25, was the ship's senior wireless operator. When Captain Smith realized the ship was doomed, Phillips began sending out SOS calls, over and over, until the power cut. While others fled, he stayed, and because of him, hundreds were saved. His name isn't carved on monuments, but it should be etched in memory. These ten mines were nearly lost to history, but not anymore. We remember, we honor, we learn. Like, share, and subscribe for more stories the world forgot, but we never will.